Sometimes plants need a helping hand to stop infestations from bugs and fungi. Sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda works well as an efficient and cost-effective fungicide and insecticide. It is an organic and eco-friendly remedy for black spots and fungi diseases such as powdery mildew. Fungus can quickly damage plants and cause plants to wilt and die. Sprinkled near the base of plants it will deter slugs, aphids and cutworms, it is also useful against roaches and ants. Basically it's effective against most bugs and insects. When ingested by insects it releases carbon dioxide into their system which kills them. Now let's prepare this most potent pesticide solution. We just need two or three powerful ingredients in this pesticide recipe. The first one is of course baking soda. Make sure it's baking soda and not baking powder. Baking soda is actually registered by the Environmental Protection Agency as a biopesticide in United States. So it's 100% organic and natural. Now, let's see how to prepare this pesticide formula. The second component you need is neem oil. Do not worry if you do not have neem oil, you can use any vegetable oil like sunflower oil or similar. But this recipe is most potent if used with neem oil. You can also use other oils like clove oil or even eucalyptus oil but be careful not to make it too strong that kill our beneficial insects and pollinators like our honey bees and butterflies. Now let's jump into how to make it. Step 1. Take 1 litre of water in a container or in a spray bottle or a spray can. This formula is for 1 litre, if you need larger volumes, you can alter the formula as per your need. Step 2. Add 2 teaspoons of baking soda to water. If you feel the pest and fungus attack is too extensive, you can add 3 teaspoons. Step 3. Add 1 teaspoon of neem oil to this. If you do not have neem oil, you can add vegetable oil or any other oil as already discussed. But neem oil is the best. Step 4. To mix the oil and water thoroughly, you can add some 10 drops of eco-friendly liquid soap into this. There are many organic liquid dishwash or hand wash soaps available in the market. Step 5. This is very important. Make sure you mix and stir it thoroughly, and then load into your spray bottle, and again give it a good shake before spraying. Before you spray on your entire plant, please perform a patch test on a leaf, and leave it for an hour or two, to see the potency. If the leaf wilts, you will need to dilute it further. The soap acts as an insect repellent and the baking soda works as a fungicide. The oil helps retain the other active ingredients on the plant surfaces, and acts as an added pesticide by preventing insects from adhering to the plant. Baking soda leaves an alkaline residue on plant surfaces which is wholly unconducive to hosting fungi spores. Spores that land there do not survive, mildew and fungus already present is deprived of a suitable environment and dies off. It should be applied at dusk, spraying it in the hot sun could lead to leaf burn. You could also try an overcast day, so long as any following rain doesn't wash it off. Any excess liquid should be disposed of. Don't leave in the container for any length of time. Make up a fresh batch for when you need to reapply. A common question is how often the pesticide should be applied. It's recommended once every two to four weeks throughout the season. Any more often and you may get a buildup of soapy residue on the soil. The ingredients are safe for pets and children. And it's cheaply and easily available. The simplicity of the recipe is also very appealing. For anyone who wants to garden organically as part of their organic lifestyle, this recipe is one that is well worth having. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to Natural Health Remedies, and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up.